Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you everything you need to know about the new ACID business in GTA Online. First of all, to gain access to the ACID lab you need to complete all 6 of the first dose missions. This will likely take you around 2 or 3 hours, and although the payouts aren't the best, they are pretty fun to play. After these missions you'll gain access to the Brigade 6x6, which will then be stored inside the freak shop. To convert it into an ACID lab you'll need to talk to Mart and cough up $750,000. If you're paying for GTA Plus, this will be free. You'll be given the option to customise your acid lab and motorbike with engine upgrades, turbo, etc. However, if you're only worried about the bottom line, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I personally never found myself driving these that often, if not at all, so the extra speed isn't really worth it. However, there is one upgrade which you will definitely want to get as soon as possible, the equipment upgrade. To get this, you need to complete 10 Fuligan missions. These can be started by calling up DAX and requesting a job. This will be quite time consuming to do, as there is a 48 minute cooldown per mission. It's annoying, I know but this one upgrade takes the business to pretty terrible to really good. The acid lab is very similar to the biker businesses, with the only difference being that it's on wheels. You need to supply Mart, who is your chemist, with various chemicals. You can do this by either buying them or stealing them. Just as a side note, you can manage your acid lab by calling up Mart. You don't actually need to go to your lab every time you want to source supplies. The stealing missions aren't particularly difficult or time consuming, especially if you use some kind of flying vehicle. The sell missions can be done completely solo and are fairly straightforward. Okay, let's talk about the payouts. Big shout out to the many legends on the GTA forums for all this information. The Acid Lab can hold 160 units of product and 100 units of supplies. Without the equipment upgrade, it takes you 2 minutes and 15 seconds to acquire one unit of product, which is worth $1,555. It will take 6 hours to completely fill up your Acid Lab. When filled, it sells for $237,600. Two units of supplies get taken up every time one bit of product is made, so you'll need 320 units of supplies to make 160 units of product. If you're buying supplies, it will cost you $192,000, which leaves you with a profit of $45,600. If you're stealing supplies, you need to do around 16 supply runs, which will leave you with a full profit of $237,600. However, quite obviously, doing the supply runs will take up a lot of your time. So yeah, by itself, the business is really not worth your time, but this is where the upgrade comes in. With the equipment upgrade, it takes 1 minute and 30 seconds to acquire one unit of product, which is worth $2,095. It will take 4 hours to completely fill up your acid lab. When filled, it sells for $335,200. One unit of supplies gets taken up every time one unit of product is made. So you'll need 160 units of supplies to make 160 units of product. If you're buying supplies, it will cost you $96,000, which leaves you with a much better profit of $239,200. If you're stealing supplies, you need to do around 8 resupply missions, which will leave you with a full profit of $335,200, minus your time of course. As you can see, this business is miles better with the equipment upgrade. Surprisingly, it's actually on par if not better than Bunker. And it doesn't stop there. You have the option once every real life day to boost your acid lab production speed, making it twice as fast, bringing it from 1 minute and 8 seconds to 45 seconds per 1 unit of product. This will only work for 80 units. After that, it will revert back to its normal speed. Players with GTA Plus will get the added benefit of 50 plus faster production speed for this month, which really takes this business to the next level. If you used to have the equipment upgrade, acid booster, and GTA Plus benefits, you would get the maximum possible speed of $2,095 every 26 seconds, which is ridiculous. In conclusion, this business is exceptionally good and doesn't cost much money at all to start it up. It can be easily integrated into any style of play, as it mostly runs in the background. And that's pretty much it so far. If there's anything I missed or if you have any more tips related to this update, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you later.